Very good afternoon. You're watching the newsroom. I am Ajay Sharma. This is ET now. The market has rebound very smartly from the opening lows. Clearly, signs of buying on dips pull up. The Nifty Bank, Nifty Small Cap, Mid Cap, and you would understand what I'm talking about. Uh, clearly, the nervousness in the, in the market in the morning has been captured, and there's a recovery at play. We have got uh, Vinay Paharia now joining us, the CIO at PGIM, to talk more about markets. Sir, uh, Vinay, you know there is a sense in the market that maybe a, some amount of uh, fatigue may be actually coming in with all triggers playing out, and there is in fact some concern that first quarter we may, numbers may actually not be that great. Is that a legitimate concern? Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, you will have to look at concerns from a different angle. From a broad macroeconomic perspective, we are clearly uh, cruising at high speed. There will always be some uh, slowdown or pickup in the economy, uh, but I, I don't envisage a material and a, a broad-based general slowdown uh, from a broad, from a pure macro perspective. Economic momentum, we don't have any issue. What about uh, valuations? Are they kind of fairly priced right now? Uh, yeah. Yeah? So, uh, purely from a valuation perspective, Ajay, uh, the way we look at market is through the lens of three buckets. Uh, and these buckets are companies which are low quality and low growth, companies which are either low quality or uh, or low growth and companies which are high quality and which are high growth. Now, in the last one year, we have seen a huge outperformance of companies in the low quality and low growth basket. It is in this space where the valuations have actually significantly re-rated and most of the companies are now trading at a materially higher level in terms of valuations compared to their longer term averages. Whereas the other basket, which is high quality and high growth, this is a basket of companies which are trading at very reasonable valuations or to slightly higher valuations compared to their longer term valuations. So I think there is clearly a dichotomy which is building up in the market and uh, we are more concerned about micro bubbles which are brewing in the low quality and uh, low growth segment of the market. That's a very important point, Vinay. There are micro bubbles which are uh, kind of already forming in the low quality end of the market. How are you? Are you uh, alerting your investor fraternity in the universe you speak to very clearly around that? Uh, are some of them mostly in small cap, mid caps? Yeah, I think uh, Ajay, as far as our uh, our communication is concerned, we have been alerting uh, our investors. Uh, and uh, community at large since the last three to six months now, ever since we saw the signs of these bubbles building up. And with each passing month, the bubble is inflating, uh, uh, it continues to inflate. So so I think uh, that uh, that is an area of concern. And I think uh, to your channel, I would also want your viewers to be alert to these kind of bubbles which are growing in this space. And of course, since uh, small and mid caps are uh, larger in number of companies, so there is a large number of companies which can be uh, picked from this universe. So the the number of companies which are in bubble zone uh, are also higher in, in this segment of the market. Having said that, I would also want to highlight that even within the small and mid cap space, there are a, a reasonably large number of companies which are good quality and high growth companies and are still trading at reasonable valuations relative to their long-term averages. Vinay, which are the, let's talk a little more specifics, uh, not, but, not stocks but themes or some indicative areas, where you think for, uh, you know, for reason of their own, but market is neglecting and completely ignoring the positives. Sure. So, Ajay, I think uh, one of the areas uh, recently started getting more attention and that is the large uh, private sector banks. So, this is an area which was uh, mostly neglected by the market in the last one year's rally. Uh, companies have reasonably uh, performed well. The, the NPA cycle is almost at a long-term uh, uh, bottom. 
returns on equities are reasonably healthy for this overall pack and the valuations are attractive so i think this is one space which stands out from a both valuation and growth perspective uh, there are other segments in uh, which we i would say pockets in segments like healthcare information technology consumer discretionary uh, these are spaces where you can find lot of opportunities come to it i was just talking to sax soft media it company on their acquisition uh, i was observing that a lot of you know mid tier it companies are actually uh, growing much faster and on profitability front compared to the large cap peers where do you see uh, high growth and good valuations in it will you like to stick with large ones or you are open to looking some mid tier uh, it companies as well which are catering to spe- very specialized niche areas so your observation is right ajay most of the high growth it companies are concentrated in the mid cap or small cap segment of the uh, market uh, but but many of these so called mid caps of uh, yesteryear have now become large caps so so i think uh, just segregating them by capitalization may not be useful but definitely yes uh, you have to hunt beyond the top 4 or 5 it companies to get higher growth in healthcare where do you see more value typical pharma companies that to either india focused pharma or generic exporters or are you also looking to a diagnostic company especially tier 2 tier 3 diagnostic players or even hospitals some regional hospitals uh, because the largest hospital chains of the pan india players are uh, quite you know trading at the higher end of the valuation so which where do you actually find more value so i think hospitals is a space which uh, is looking attractive uh, but while you your observation is right that many of them appear to trade at uh, expensive valuations but when you look at uh, their long term averages when you look at their prospective growth rates uh, these are and remember these are fairly stable businesses unlike pure retail businesses or hotel businesses these are fairly stable growing businesses and that's the reason why uh, the cost of equity for these companies is also lower which means that for the same growth such companies ideally should be deserving to trade at a higher valuation so i think in summary uh, some of the uh, regional stroke national hospital chains are attractive domestic formulation companies are attractive uh, and uh, there are some other pockets uh, within the healthcare space of course so on a bottom up basis which are also attractive but net net this is a space which is attractive not for valuation reasons but more from growth reasons areas to nibble in as far as chemicals are concerned either agri chemicals you know india focused ones or even some of the exporting guys especially the ones who do some complex molecule work because these guys have gone through very rough weather in the last 3 years or uh, do you think it's early early days so i think uh, uh, definitely this is a space which is neglected i think we started our discussion uh, on which are the neglected spaces of the market so clearly uh, complex chemicals companies which are uh, dealing in uh, specialty chemicals or agrochemicals which are specialty or patented uh, contract uh, manufacturers these are spaces which have been reasonably neglected by the market in the last one years time these companies have consolidated their businesses they have some of them might have seen slow down or macro challenges which are behind us now so i think clearly this is a this is a space to watch out for right all right vinay we'll let you go on that one thanks so much for joining us on the show today thank you very much all right uh, with that we'll take a short break on that note uh, come back for news and analysis on the other side don't go anywhere